come in and talk about uh, this particular way back in 2019, around July, in the month of July, Honorable CM called me for a meeting and gave his mind about revamping the entire higher education, rejuvenating the higher education. He had his own feedback on the higher education system. And his understanding when he called for the meeting was that the educational institutions mostly are engaged in, you know, admitting the students and uh, giving them a degree after the course duration without actually adding value to the students. Without adding the capacities and competencies we are rolling out the students is what he has observed. And his perennial problem was uh, these graduates who acquired degrees from universities are moving around the politicians for recommendations to get a job. Instead, Honorable CM asked me, can you do something in higher education wherein you add value and you, you inculcate those skills in the students so that by virtue of the skills they can claim a job confidently when they walk out of the portals of the institution. And uh, very quickly he has ordered me to enhance the duration of degree programs by one year, three years to four years, engineering from four years to five years. And his idea was that uh, we shall incorporate one exclusive year only for internship, for hands-on practical training. All of you are aware, education is in the concurrent list. We have statutory bodies at the uh, national level like UGC, AICT. We cannot design our co courses and course durations as we like. We went to UGC and AICT. AICT, UGC said no to the proposal because they said we cannot have an exclusive policy for the state of Andhra Pradesh. So we came back, we explored the other alternatives and we redesigned our curriculum, introducing 10 months of mandatory internship. Let me tell you, when we introduced 10 months of mandatory internship, all my friends here, majority of my friends here did not believe me that we will be incorporating or we will be ensuring this 10 months of mandatory internship for the students. The doubts are quite natural, the suspicion is quite natural, for a simple reason that we have a volume of 15 lakh students, 1.5 million students. Providing internships to so many students every year, we roll in around 3.5 lakh students. At least in every year we need to provide 3.5 lakh internships. People got very curious, suspicious, everyone said it cannot be implemented. And today, going forward, after three years, we made it a possibility. How we made it a possibility? With a single-minded dedication. And today, the government did not simply leave an instruction and uh, did not transfer the burden on higher education. It has switched in the entire government mechanism into the service of higher education for the first time in the country. Chief Secretary, 16 Principal Secretaries formed a committee at the state level to explore internship opportunities. The collector at the district level is made a chairman. He is exploring all internship opportunities at the district level. Finally, we also came out with Industry Institute Connect Portal, wherein you know we ensured uh, 9 lakh students registered in total. And uh, today, with a mammoth effort, we could bring the higher education students under a single portal. We also could bring in the internship providers, providers. We have tackled the problem in two ways. One, we, we requested the virtual, the, the, those internship uh, um, uh, providers 
who can provide in virtual internship that Andhra Pradesh is a state which has ensured 1.5 lakh virtual internships, highest in the country. And uh, today, the, the ecosystem that we have created, you now Smart Bridge is here, I was talking to you this term. They have registered all across the country for 1.5 or 1.6 lakh uh, virtual internships, of which 75,000 are from Andhra Pradesh. And 50% of their virtual internships are from Andhra Pradesh. So we could create an ecosystem. Now the message is loud and clear. Every stakeholder is understanding what we are doing right now. And still there are doubts and confusions. And we need to dispel all of them and therefore this way. See, AP State Council of Higher Education works with five of college and we, we, we took uh, the principals into confidence, we took registrars into confidence and uh, whatever we are, we are planning, basically we expect it to go through uh, the, the uh, you know, mechanism, the stakeholders. And the primary stakeholder or the fundamental beneficiary, the student should be aware of what's happening. Very unfortunately, in spite of the best of the efforts, students are getting enrolled into the system, but they are not showing seriousness. For example, when I have claimed 75,000 registrations for Salesforce, how many think you think have completed the program? Of 75,000, only 24 students have completed. See, whenever I made a request to Salesforce through Smart Grid, they readily agree. They are offering the internships, and if the performance is so dismal, maybe next year they will not respond to my request. Slowly, see, we have taken initial strides, and we we have uh, taken the initial advantage. And if we fail to consolidate this, uh, probably going forward. Uh, uh, we will be failing in our duty to impress upon the industry. Industry also should see a value in whatever collaboration they make with higher education. So therefore, to bring a little more seriousness into the system, this meeting has been called for. I am very glad all of you came here to listen to us. I think Smart Bridge will take you through this entire internship program. And Salesforce is one area I understood there will be million jobs created in the next five or seven years. That's what I am meant to understand. See, we are very happy. We started with 37,000 play campus recruitments in 2019-20. Today, we could achieve 85,000 campus placements. It's a good progress. a good progress. I don't attribute everything to the initiatives we have taken, but industry is also doing good and therefore the number of placements are more. But um, our worry is, the government's worry is, we enroll 3.5 lakh students and we are happy providing 50 or 60,000 placements. And what about the remaining 3 lakh students? See, this is the genuine question. Now the seriousness with which we are going, trying to give the hands-on experience, need not be in IT, IT enabled services alone, it can be in plethora of uh, industries and verticals we, we can explore. So, our aim is in the next 3-4 years, at least the 80 to 90 percent of the students who enrolled into higher education shall be placed by, by the time they acquire the degrees. This is the mission with which we are going. Once again, you know, when, when, when I proposed internships, no, like many eyebrows went up and people were, uh, you know, eagerly looking at me to uh, resist to my venue, uh, to observe my venue. But you know, we are not leaving it there. We have the fighting spirit, we are fighting, we are, we are trying to fight. You know, I'm not, when, when I said fighting, I am not fighting with anyone. I am fighting with the lethargy of the system. Energy of the system, nothing more than that. I have all wonderful people. You know, I have wonderful people. Andhra Pradesh is known for its uh, education. 
Andhra Pradesh students are widely respected all across the world. See, we have brilliance everywhere. We have commitment everywhere. Only, only thing we are fighting is the lethargy and the inertia of the system. I am sure I can unshackle this. I am sure I can penetrate through this lethargy. I am sure we are going to revitalize the whole system. And uh, this may not be possible just because Henshindrati stands before you and say, I am committed, I will do it, I alone cannot do it. Impossible. See, uh, I am not of such false impressions. I am not, I'm not carrying such false impressions. I very firmly believe when I made a statement that we will unshackle, we will revitalize, I said that because I have confidence in you. My system will respond. I can only give a direction. And the direction right now, or the appeal from me is, look, anything we do, let us do it seriously. Let us give them a hope. Look, Andhra is a place where all of you can converge. Today, how do you think I have achieved 1.5 lakh virtual internships with one boy, uh, with one boy there at Apche? I have only one man there. I don't have a huge team to go and talk to this. So, see, the ecosystem has been built. The, the uh, world is looking at what's happening in Andhra Pradesh. We could ensure that uh, the message is sent to all the stakeholders that, uh, you know, these are the reforms we have initiated. And we made it very clear and loud to all the, you know, uh, stakeholders particularly the industry, that Andhra is an experimental ground. You come and experiment right now. We are ready to take that experimentation. We, we, we are going through that experimentation phase. And therefore, the companies are automatically coming. With one boy there and, uh, you know, with one chairman here, with two people, I don't think uh, we, 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 we can change everything overnight. But still, it is because of the strength of the system or strength of the reforms that we have initiated and the industries and uh, the, the internship partners saw a value in this. They are, they are falling in beeline. Today, I'm, 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 I'm in such a position where, you know, I say, uh, you please stop your enrollment right now. You are overflowing. See, I'm, I'm, I'm putting a check to certain uh, I mean, uh, internship providers, look, you stop your registration at this point. So overwhelming support I am getting from the students. And we should consolidate on this. And if I, I have to consolidate on this, I need all your best support. Let us unitedly come together to change the future. Let us come together to change the future of the next generation. Don't, don't forget the very fact that we, we deal with students, young hearts, not with machines. They have their own aspirations. They have their family aspirations. You all must be having children. You don't just like that uh, admit your uh, child into any school that, that you come across. You will make some, you know, minimum analysis on the schools available and you always try to pick up the best school for your child. Because for you, it is one child or two children and it is one life for them. You always wanted to give the best to them. And these 3.5 lakh students who are en entering into portals of the institution, all their parents must be thinking the same. They all have their aspirations. They all have their dreams. And we need to realize this. That is the fundamental point I am making. Look, we are not working with machines. We are working with thoughts. We are working with the aspirations. Let us come together. Good or bad, we are in teaching provision. It's the noblest provision. And you get the enormous opportunity to change tomorrow. Only you have the capacity to change tomorrow. Nobody else. The tomorrow is shaped in your classroom today. In your college today, let's come together. And please take this mission very serious. I want every enrolled student uh, to participate in this uh, online learning. I want every student to achieve the certification. 
what these internship providers are doing. And uh, not today, ever since the pandemic hit us hard, we took the online mode. And we very strongly partnered, partnered with NASCAR, with Future Skills Prime. And we are the first state to ensure 1 lakh registrations in NASCAR Future Skills Prime. Not today, during the lockdown period. That is the confidence I have. That is the confidence I have on my people. See, when I send a message, it is going very seriously. There are some serious players here. And that is my confidence. My confidence is not that, you know, government is backing me. My confidence is not that I have enormous capabilities. My confidence is only you. I am banking on you. I know you are, you are going to support me continuously. Collectively, let us bring in this change. This change, once we bring in here, Andhra Pradesh obviously stands very tall. It is win-win. The institutions will win. You know, the, the system will win. The state will win. And the individual families will win. The next generation will win. Just imagine how we, we dragged our feet for the last 25 years. It is, as if you know, it's a single mundane duty of admitting student, awarding them the degree without actually adding the value. You know, we all know, we are, we are all in the system. I'm not here to talk about uh, the, the lacuna of the system. System has many disadvantages. System has many weaknesses. I know that. But this is the time. Let us collectively, let us change. We change this. So, my dear friends, my appeal to all of you is, we have some very key players like NASCAM supporting us. We have the capacity, the, the determination of the government to change the entire higher education system. We have huge scholarship programs going on in the higher education system. We are spending 5,000 crores only towards scholarships every year. So, this money, if it is to be spent meaningfully, if it is to make sense for the government to spend such money, we should raise our level, prove the world that look, we are a system where we, we are producing some really quality stuff and quality graduates. So that is the vision with which we are working. Let us work together towards this. Minister, did I miss any point? So, this sales course, virtual internship, I personally believe that it is going to be a game changer for uh, you know, technical education in particular, higher education in general, because they have jobs cutting across the disciplines. And many jobs are going to come. Let's get up. Let's give these opportunities to our students. After all, you need to do only one thing. You need to go back and tell your student, hey, you cannot be complacent. Go. Be serious. Attend these classes. Learn whatever you can learn. And please bring them there. Swami Vivekananda said, put right chemicals in right proportion in the presence of a right catalyst, chemical reaction automatically takes place. You be the catalyst. That chemical reaction take place then. The intended chemical reaction take place then. Bring them all. Bring them all. Drive that seriousness into them. Otherwise, you know, they are great getting drifted everywhere. And once again, I am not complaining on the student. I am not uh, uh, making an allegation on the student. It is the system's weakness which is making the student to drift everywhere. Has the system been focused? Has the system given the opportunities to the students? Probably they would have been, you know, very serious. So these youngsters, they have enormous capabilities and potential. And we need to drive that, I mean, we need to provide them with the opportunity and educate them on what this opportunity is, the present opportunity is. So please do that, my dear friends. I'll be grateful to all of you. And it's my pleading to all of you, rather, that it is time we all join hands together. Reach out to your hands. Let us join a wonderful human network. Let us build a robust system in the state of Andhra Pradesh 
let us render every student employed employable and let the world admire the kind of quality that we produce it don't require you know huge uh, investments to be made if you no know, only confidence i have till my seventh class my my classroom was under the shade of a tamarind tree right so i never had uh, you know huge infrastructure that that is the confidence i have you don't require huge infrastructure at this point of time you require the intent you require the intent you require the commitment let us bring that commitment without investing one extra rupee if you look at all the reforms that we have made it is not asking for any investment let us fine tune ourselves let us redefine our roles let us be there motivating the student that symbiotic relationship between teacher and student that needs to be revisited at this point of time that is lost for various reasons we have become so mechanical the teachers have become so mechanical students have become so mechanical the connect between the teacher and student the interaction between the teacher and student has been abysmally low almost negligible at that age of 17 and 22 between 17 and 22 they carry lot of doubts they have ego issues they have lot of confusions they always look at a teacher that's how i got my doubts clarified if a teacher is not ready to handhold them to give him the confidence him or her the confidence probably they are lost so let us not do that the crux of the issues a simple appeal if you want uh, me to summarize everything let us develop that symbiotic relationship between student and teacher let them take into confidence let us hand hold them and let us guide them towards you know light that's as simple as this thank you very much for giving me this wonderful opportunity hope you understood you now i may not be spending too much time here but the message is very very clear to all of you my pleading to all of you is very clear my dear friends please cooperate my dear friends please extend your support my dear friends this is the time you proved what you are my dear friends you are the change agent my dear friends only you can change i may talk about policies i may talk about national education policy i may talk about what government is thinking but at ground level only you can make a difference and i am having concerns i am looking forward to your help hence my pleading Thank you very much. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Hello. Am I mindful? I just uh, mentioned about mass-cap relationship with the uh, state council of marriage. Sir, you see here, sir. In the in the last year. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, there we have it. I was just mentioning about uh, the partnership between NASCAM and the AP Higher Education Council. I didn't notice you, your presence here. Anyhow, yeah. thank you. Thank you. It's always kind of you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank and, you. Uh, we are very happy for this partnership and uh, the kind of trust and relationship that we have uh, with you. We are sure we are going to make that impact in the states. Let me tell you, the confidence I have is uh, the backing I received from NASCA. I am not mincing words. Thank you very much. Who else are there? Oh, you think is also there? You think? Hi. To hear you, I was. I am actually very, very motivated to hear what you said. I could relate to it. And the reason to relate to it is that my dad comes from Indian Navy, but he chose his second career as a teacher, right? So whenever you go and talk to him, what you do, he will say that first I was actually taking care of nation, and now I'm taking care of people who build the nation, the kids, the young generation. And uh, in on his retirement, I think he made a statement saying that all these years I actually had people's career in my hand, nurturing. And helping them to come and you know, nurture this as a plant every day. So you allow learners to come and talk to you, but it's actually the 
the teachers, the educators, the TPOs on the ground who really bring in the change. All the policy, all the strategy, all the infra, everything else goes in the air. People who stay on ground actually are the one who make sure the dream gets realized. So I was very, very excited to hear what you said. I could relate to it and I could kind of you know, uh, really uh, match it to what my dad is all these years. So thank you for that motivating speech to all of us, including me. Thank you, Yudhishthir. Oh, Sadish is also there. Hi, Sadish. And thank you. And Yudhishthir, we, we need your continued support. Uh, we only just made a beginning. I would like to build this uh, uh, vertical very strongly in the state of Andhra Pradesh. So much so that all the industry must be looking at Andhra Pradesh. That is my intent. So please uh, support us in, in our mission. Definitely. Satish is starting to mute. Absolutely, sir. I think with your leadership, we are actually finding it quite easy to work. And as you said, I think it's a, for any state who's a matter in the entire world, not only states in India. Actually, having industry and having people plays and job it is a chicken and egg theory. So we can't really question no, or expect that industry should come first, establish themselves in state, and then we produce the talent, right? It's, it's a two-way street. You try to make your learners ready for industry, it will be an input for industry to come and do more hiring. They do more hiring, you do more training. You do more training, the more hiring. So it's a it's a loop which feeds to each other. And I think with your contribution and the way you're allowing us to participate as industry, we are all ready. So what we do is that when you plan for now, even next year's challenge, etc., we keep AP as a state to do a lot more. And thank you for allowing us to operate and and having AP as our key partner in this whole game. Thank you, Mr. Uh, counting on your support. It means a lot for us. Satish, can you please unmute and say? You are muted, Satish. Yeah, can you hear me now, sir? Yes, yes. Yeah. <coughs> thank you, thank you so much for your support uh, no, and pushing the institutions across. Uh, we would definitely help you out wherever you want us, though we were in person not being be able to be there today. Uh, in fact, I notified Dinesh, if you want me to travel, I am okay to travel also. But then he said, since uh, no sales, uh, from Salesforce side, they are representing and you know, doing the sessions. Uh, we also wanted to work closely. In fact, to highlight yesterday, our team was there in Vishak Vaizai, uh, the IT Association of AP, ITAP. I believe you would be knowing about them. So they are also very keen and interested to help us in the placement of types and job mail uh, So yesterday they have notified us. So I was just informing Sridevi also to you know, pull them into this loop so that when we conduct in the month of November, so they also will help us with a couple of companies which are based in AP itself. There are in Vizag, Vijayawada and Tirupati some of these organizations. They also would like to participate and recruit uh, you know, from these tribes which we would be conducting. That's a good news so that uh, some of them can get opportunities in the same state itself. Uh, so I think what the exercise which you are doing is resonating across the, the companies, Pan India in fact. So they are very eager to be waiting so that the people who enroll complete these programs, so they can uh, look for an opportunity to employ them in these organizations. So we are very excited, in fact the organizations are also very proactively uh, waiting for you know, people to enroll and complete the programs and support in whichever way they can uh, in getting skilled for all of these candidates. Thank you Sadish. That gives me a lot of confidence, uh, Satish. Uh, you raised the right point about the job uh, medals that we are planning actually. Uh, I think uh, in a right platform as well. So all my friends will understand that the NASCOM and uh, AP State Council of Higher Education, they are jointly doing this massive uh, job, I mean, uh, uh, job medals. We also need to thank our Jay and their team. In fact, uh, they are helping us every weekly basis 
pushing the candidates to enroll and then ensure that their training is happening. Smart bridge, especially in the Amar and then JST. Thank you very much, Satish. So, Sridevi, Satish, and Yudhishthir, thank you very much for joining us online. It's a pleasant surprise, you know. My voice uh, didn't inform me about your presence here. Otherwise, no, we are able to tell me only, sir, what was <laughs> No, no, but uh, I spoke everything uh, uh, unmindful of, you know, your presence without recognizing your presence. So, otherwise, I would have greeted all of you at the beginning itself. But anyhow, I'm very glad to notice your presence here, virtually though. And we are hitting the virtual route. Uh, I, I just before I told them that, you know, online is the best way that we improve the quality of education. And in Andhra, the blended mode of learning will continue for years down the line. And all my teachers, students are fully aware of this online mode. And uh, they are embracing it, fine. Uh, we will uh, continue with our uh, philosophy and policy to strengthen higher education system. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.